Hi everyone. So we're talking this morning about the three stages of rehab. Now, in most cases, when you have an injury, really to be able to rehabilitate that injury, make sure you're back to your normal functioning self and sometimes better than your normal functioning self and prevent that injury from reoccurring, you really need to go through these three stages. So the first stage is quite commonly known by everyone as the acute stage. This is where things are usually very painful, the inflammation is there, the injury is quite new, your movements and your activities of daily living are severely impacted. And most people fulfill this first stage of rehab, the acute stage, stage one, most of the time they fulfill this pretty well. And the reason behind that is usually because there's enough pain and annoyance to their daily life that they feel like they need to complete that stage of rehab. The second stage of rehab, which is sometimes known as the subacute stage of rehab, this is a time where the pain has usually decreased significantly and so too has the inflammation. Often, if you're in this stage of rehab, you're able to participate a little bit more back to your daily activities. So you might be returning back to training if you're in a sporting team, you might be going back to doing some of the normal things that you were previously doing around the house day to day without getting too much pain and discomfort. And about 50% of people will complete this subacute phase of rehab. So most people acute, but complete the acute, the first stage of rehab, about 50% of people complete this second subacute stage of rehab. Then the third stage of rehab, this is the one where the ball often gets dropped. So this third stage of rehab, I can't stress how important this stage of rehab is. This is the stage where when you do this properly, you get out of that injury cycle and you don't end up with the injury again or a different compensating injury. And many people People don't complete the third stage of rehab and there's many reasons for this I believe that it's mostly because by this stage usually you've got almost no symptoms so a lot of the time human nature you think oh I feel fine I don't I'm done I'm fixed I'm, I don't need to do anything here I also think that even as health practitioners the way that we educate and actually complete the third stage of rehab ourselves is not fantastic so you'll notice that um, in the BPS studios we use a lot of clinical Pilates in this stage and that's because Pilates is a fantastic tool for learning how to move your body, re-educating your movement patterns and making sure the problems that maybe led to the injury in the first place are not still there. So this third stage of rehab usually includes things like re-educating your movement. So we call that biomechanical counselling, but essentially what it means is looking at what really caused the problem in the first place and then starting to undo some of those patterns and train new patterns. So this could be things like core control, learning how to hip hinge properly, understanding how your foot mechanics work, getting your thorax stacked over your pelvis, being able to rotate, flex and extend your thoracic canister well. It's a lot about movement. And also there's a huge emphasis on participant in this, um, in this third stage of rehab. So it's less about the therapist doing work to you and it's more about you doing the work in conjunction with the guidance from either your physiotherapist or your Pilates instructor. So I hope that was helpful. Those are the three stages of rehab. Remembering that the acute stage, most people complete. About 50% of people complete the subacute stage and many people don't complete that third stage of rehab, but it's that third stage that actually stops the injury from coming back in the future. So I'd love to hear from you. If you feel like you have an injury that is reoccurring or you have many injuries that keep popping up all over the place, I'd like you to think about maybe it is because you're not completing this third stage of rehab. If you've got any questions, or comments around that, I'd love for you to pop them down in the comments below. We always check our comments and if you feel like you'd like some more personal advice, you can always give the girls a call. We've got three studios in Sydney, Caring Bar, Helston Park and Alexandria and our team of highly qualified physios and Pilates instructors would love to be able to give you some personalised advice. All right, I hope that was helpful. See you later, guys. Bye.